like. Who the hell are you and where am I? Relax, Matthew. You're safe. For now. Welcome to the greatest show on this world. Or any world for that matter. You really must know what's happening. You've been selected to play a series of amusingly taxing challenges. Succeed and you will Look, attrition. look, look. I don't want to play your game. Can I just go? Fine. Fine. Also, can I have my phone back? Sign the paper and we can begin the process to get you out of here. Asphyxiation and being smothered by the puppy. Why does this say I give up the right to living if I should fail the game? Just sign the paper and then you can leave. You guys didn't even give me a pen to sign with. I'm not signing this. Never mind. I guess I am signing this. Okay, now what? Now, let's get started. Relax, all I need you to do is answer a few questions, and then you get to leave this room. Choose your resource. Wait, what? Hi, yeah, I'm being held against my will in some building downtown. You can't do that. Yeah, I can see the abandoned building from across hey, the street. Hey, Matthew, could you get off the phone? Yeah, okay, so I see Pancake Man. I have a death trap, I, and I also really see need to send you through. Up parking garages to my right. Hello, Matthew? Um, Hello? Yes, the Capitol building is to my left, yeah. <sighs> Shit. On Main Street? I believe so, yes. Uh, bye! Okay, yeah, I've been here for about... I can't even tell you how long. Um, okay, that's great. Thank you, yeah, no, I'm... I'm Earlier today, Matthew Scott was found by police in an elaborate death trap along with the bodies of several people that had previously fallen victim to its maker. 23-year-old Peter Schmidt was apprehended, fleeing from the scene. After watching the horror movie It Lurks in the Shadows, Peter was inspired to create his own elaborate real-life horror movie. The building consisted of two rooms that would change in layout whenever they were unoccupied thanks to a computer program designed by Schmidt. The suspect added hidden exits and a trap door to allow him access to the room to taunt his victims in person. It's unknown if he is working alone.